A closer look at the new grades just given to Indiana schools. We have learned that more than 60% of schools received an A or B, but many are still questioning this controversial grading system. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas has more on what the grades mean for your students. Derek? Drew, overall the news was good, but 30 Indianapolis public schools got F's. The Democratic candidate for superintendent of public instruction questions the accountability model. The numbers look like this. 40.9% of the schools received A's, 20.1% received B's, 20.3% got C's, 11.5% got D's, and 7.1% got F's. Since 2009, the state has spent $128 million to assist low-performing schools in implementing comprehensive improvement plans. Some of those plans have worked, including the one here at Broad Ripple, where the State Board of Education intervened after it was an F school for six straight years. Scholastic Corporation was hired as a partner to help the school with operations, discipline, and instruction. And you're the reason we do all this. Today, the school got a B. You know, states are now being asked to be the incubators of innovation on school accountability. So do we think these are absolutely perfect? No, but you know what? I don't think you're going to find, especially a high school administrator, uh, you're going to have a hard time finding many of them who are going to say that these measurements aren't a heck of a lot better than the old measurements. Glenda Ritz does have a problem with the measurements. She has been its political opponent in the upcoming election. First order item of business. She says giving schools negative grades are counterproductive. We're labeling schools that are going to affect our economic, you know, economic growth in our communities. So with 39% of our schools, as he has uh, put out information, having C's, D's, and F's, I don't know how that actually goes about increasing our economic um, development in our, in our local communities. To want an audit of the school grading process, she calls it unfair. She says schools must be held accountable, but the stigma of being called a failing school is not the way. Derek Thomas. RTV6.